In Yemen's capital, dozens killed and injured in a suicide blast. Al-Qaeda believed to be behind it. The victims, Houthi protesters, a Shia rebel group that has taken over parts of the capital and other key areas of the country. CNN has learned the U.S. intelligence community is now urgently worried Yemen's fragile government may even lose control of the capital, Sana'a. And that raises critical concerns that Yemen's al-Qaeda branch could move in and succeed with its long-standing threat to attack the United States. <laughs> al-Qaeda operatives already stepping up attacks inside Yemen. The Yemen government, just to survive, it has to focus on the Houthi threat right now. So, so in other words, al-Qaeda, the one organization that we're seeing, or one organization we're seeing, that is most directly plotting against the U.S. homeland has now taken a back seat in a war of survival for the Yemen government. It's exactly what Washington doesn't want. Yemen is now so precarious, just offshore in the Red Sea, the U.S. is keeping an amphibious warship with helicopters and a marine contingent on board, ready to move in and evacuate Americans if needed. Just last month, President Obama touted Yemen as a success in fighting al-Qaeda. The strategy of taking out terrorists who threaten us while supporting partners on the front lines is one that we have successfully pursued in Yemen. While the U.S. continues the occasional drone strike against al-Qaeda leaders in Yemen, this is the group that gathered more than 100 operatives in the open earlier this year. On Tuesday, the State Department offered $45 million in rewards for information on key members who remain at large, including Nasser al-Waheshi, the leader. President Obama's comment that this organization has largely been defeated is simply not true. They have survived. They have continued to present a threat.